Red 2 standing by, all 4 lit and in the green, welcome back to Yoshi's Crafted World. We're going to Slip Slide Isle, which of course will probably involve everybody's least favourite mechanic in platforming, Ice Physics. Even worse is when you get Auto Scrollers combined with Ice Physics. So, that is a Bumpty. The classic penguin enemies that I think first appeared in Yoshi's Island? Not 100% sure. You can defeat them just like you would the various monkeys. Mind you, this isn't too bad a variation of the Yoshi theme. Very Christmassy. And it does have a rather whimsical feel reminiscent, I think, of the original Yoshi's Island. And of course we've got icicles which can land on our head and serve as temporary platforms. Can I shoot anything down? No, I cannot. But there's a big icicle which I get out of the way of. And we can move up here to grab... Red Coins! Almost reminds me a little of Crystal Caves from Donkey Kong 64. And there's a big icicle, so of course we'll have something to do with that. Never mind that we're callously sacrificing a whole lot of bumpties. Alright, what do you have here? And it's time for a slide! Very short one, admittedly. Oh right, that is actually what you're supposed to do. Whoops. And there we are. Thank you very much for your help, friend. Hope he manages to catch something. Interestingly enough, I think there was a car manufactured in the Soviet Russia that had a hole in it. Like, deliberately, not... Up to the, not the sort that the usual communist cars tended to have. But, it was literally designed that way so that you could go ice fishing. It seems so utterly ridiculous, but... Now I have to bait the... Oh! Yoshi doesn't like water. Actually, that's probably punishment for trying to ac even accidentally use the phrase bear baiting. Which is very much illegal and you really shouldn't do that or engage anybody who does. And there we have... A Burt Ball. If we stand here... Can we make Burt the... Can we push Burt the ball? Yes we can. And we can just move along the waves, happy as can be. Move along steadily but surely with the help of Bert the Beach Ball. There, I want to eat the fish. Alright, I see you out there. Better make sure I don't miss any coin. Come back here, come back here, Bert. Coins, please do. I had a feeling there were going to be red coins. Still have to find the present as well. There's a little crab out there. All right, so we have to get up here. Wait a minute. We can go inside the whale, can't we? There we go, with a well-timed egg shot, we can stand here. Out we go! And on we go! And this j- You 
had just what I needed and I nearly fell off again. Alright, don't take them out until we've got all those. And there we are, that was actually reasonably competent. And there we go! I'm finally displaying some good shooting! Admittedly, I am putting my honours degree from the Imperial Stormtrooper Marksmanship Academy to shame, but look at the... Let me distract you by talking about the sponge walruses. Look at the sponge walrus. Isn't it beautifully designed? So with their tusks having fallen off, I think we need to stand on this one. And then we go up here. And more red coins. The exploration sense of this game is incredibly beautiful. Just take your time, look around, and you'll find all sorts of things. Speaking of, I still haven't found that present. Yeah, I don't think Bumpty's... Oh, wait, hang on. I don't think Bumpty's actually damage you, they just push you back, and if I move here... Actually, if I hadn't got poleaxed by that Bumpty, I probably wouldn't have found the present. Uh, Sir, that was rude. Come on. <sighs> ah. Okay, we'll go from up here. Finally! Well, in case you were worried, no, I am going to con go back to my usual form. Slide! And there we go. Last flower. Now I believe... And we've got all the red coins! I don't know why I keep jumping through there. But... Very good results! Surprisingly mellow and well designed for an ice stage. Aced it first time round. So it looks like we have another path ahead and we've got a freebie. So, let's see which costumes we will get. We just have to go for the one turn free. We have just one of the common ones, and it is... Octopus. Let's keep going. And there we are. Everything is now ours for costumes in chilly hot aisles. Wow! Tiny boat! Beach Bert! Fun pirate ship! A whale! And the common ones are a penguin. I'm presuming they're bumpties anyway, or they're meant to be. A palm tree with a crab face on it. A foam box. Aurora Curson, that's actually pretty nice. And a tropical cap. There we are, nicely done. So, it looks like we have the boss of an area coming up. Oh, I'm wiped out. If only I had 20 smiley flowers. Slightly higher cost, but never hesitate to help. 
We have plenty. We might as well use them for good causes, because they get us further through this wonderful world. There we go. Now I'm feeling super swell. Let me just get out of your way. Oh! And it's a very nice touch that this one actually looks slightly sunburned. Thank you so much for the help. Say, how'd you find your way out here? On the hunt for gems, are we? Hmm. I saw a young creature out on the sea. Seemed to be looking for something. I imagine the penguins were laughing at him fumbling about on that ball of his. I'm betting you can do better than that. Our boss arena opens to wrap up the episode. Who's it gonna be? It's Bert. Interestingly, in the French version, because of those striped trousers, Bert is actually named with an anagram of Obelix from the Asterix series. Obelix is famous for those stripe, so stripe pants, which are usually pulled up fairly high, and the distinctive moustache as well. Hold it right there, Yoshi! And there he is. You are not going to get in our way this time! Those gems are ours! Your reckless majesty! Careful now! He's actually done very well. He hasn't fallen off yet. I'm a natural on this thing. It's okay to be jealous of my awesome skills. You don't actually think you can do this better than me, do you? Let's put him in his place. Sure I do. How dare you! And there we are. He's fallen in the water. Your spikiness! It's all your fault, Yoshi! Let's see how you like getting dunked in the sea, chum! Sorry, there should have been emphasis on the you there. It's pretty cool that you can make Yoshi be a bit of a smartass. I mean, he's been putting up with Baby Bowser's sh shenanigans for years. So, we have a much larger segment. We have a very big Burt balloon with low pants. That's not going to go well. And we are facing off against Bert the Ball. Alright, let's grab those. Run underneath him. And enemies are called in. And we eventually smack Bird into the water and ground pound him right in the crotch. And we have an army of mini birds. Actually rather creative in all fairness. And there we go, work out how to dodge all those attacks. It's entirely possible that Bert is actually a lifeguard. And there we go, into the water. He at least doesn't give us a way to throw eggs at him, but the penguins are problematic for him. So, a few fairly capable attacks. Whoops! That's a little unfortunate, but we're not ranked on health this time. And jump over the bumpy circle. Much shorter time frame. Oh, jump! Come on! 
Drown twice, but... Oh, great. Looks like I'm just gonna have to wait. Oh, I keep getting stuck right underneath them. But that'll take care of him, and there we go, right in the groin. And once again, Bird has no pants, and dies of embarrassment. I made that look a little bit harder than it was, I didn't get my jump timing right. So, we've gone from the sublime to the ridiculous, and there are his pants. Which drowned and spa- I'm not touching that! Uh, just a hint, Yoshi, that gem was not yellow before you got your hands on it. So, we hand over the pea-coloured gem and other immature jokes which I really should be above making. And there we are, slam dunk! The Dreamstone looks a little happier. And, of course, the pants fall down. Anyway, we've cleared Bert's bouncy battle. Let's zoom out. Our destination should be... ...whatever the area after Ninja Rama is, which we will do in the next episode. Thank you very much for joining me. Until next time, this is Red2 returning to base.